Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the iPhone 6S with me. And some of you have asked me to do the benchmarking on the new iPhone 6S because it has a new processor. That's the A9, uh, which is clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. The previous version of iPhone, that is iPhone 6, had an A8 processor, which was clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. It's still a dual core processor, but Apple says it's really fast. So what I've decided is that we'll also compare the benchmark scores that we get with the Galaxy Note 5. Because as of now, I feel under Android, the Note 5 is one of the most powerful smartphones and this uh, Note 5 has a Exynos 7420 uh, chipset which is actually an octa-core. Uh, so let's do the benchmarks on both these devices and uh, let's start with actually the Geekbench uh, which is actually cross-platform. So we'll run the benchmark on both these devices and as you can see let's hit the run benchmark and let's see the scores. And the iPhone actually finished uh, it first. And we got a single core score of 2,546, which is actually very good. And a multi-core score of 4,419. And uh, the Note 5 should also be finished. And here, as you can see, uh, significantly, if you see, the single core score is way higher on the iPhone 6s. We got a single core score of 1490. Whereas again, the multi core score is higher on the Note 5 because it has eight core, uh, what do you say, CPU. So definitely in single core, the iPhone uh, goes ahead. Let me just uh, uh, remove all the apps again. Let's close all. And uh, here also, let me remove everything. And now let's try Antutu, which is again a very popular benchmarking application and let's test it so i hit test and this benchmark can take some time so i'll just directly show you the scores that we get and the note 5 actually completed the benchmark so let's look at the scores and as you can see we got a a score of and uh, this is still at 85 percent and we got a score of 69640 uh with the note 5 and if you go to the details uh, here are the scores as you can see in multitasking we got a score of 9867 and a cpu integer score of uh, 10466 and now even the iphone 6 is done and uh, let's look at the scores oops i don't know what happened why uh, and here as we can see we got a score of 66000 so here actually the note 5 went ahead slightly and if you go to the details here, as you can see, in multitasking, strangely, uh, we got a higher score on the iPhone 6s. That's 18,000. Uh, and here we got a multitasking score of 9,836. And in uh, CPU integer, actually, uh, the Note 5 went uh, ahead. It's 10,000. And here, it's just 2,310. And... Uh, so that's uh, really interesting. So in this test, uh, I would say the Note 5 went ahead, uh, 66,600 versus 69,640. Uh, let's do one more test, which is a graphic intensive test. Let's kill all the apps and uh, let's now run this 3D Mark. I'll run this Ice Storm Limited and restrict it to 720p. And let's just run that again. And again, this test also takes uh, some time. So I'll just skip directly to the scores. And as you can see, uh, the iPhone uh, completed the test and uh, we got a score of 28,111, which is again, an excellent score. As you can see in graphics, we got a score of 42,377, uh, which is actually very impressive, I have to say. And a physics score of 12,905 and uh, the Note 5 is still running the test so let it complete and we'll compare the results. The Note 5 also just finished and here as you can see we got a score of uh, 24,099 on the uh, Note 5 uh, whereas on the iPhone 6s it's 28,000. So definitely higher and let's look at the graphic score. And here, as you can see in the first graphic score, we had a huge difference and the iPhone 6 went ahead. We had a score of almost 42,377. And here we had a score of 27,379. And even in physics, uh, 
Actually, the physics score, the Note 5 went ahead with a score of 16,979 and a physics score of 12,905. Uh, whereas in the graphic one test, in terms of FPS, the iPhone 6s went ahead with 232 FPS, whereas the Note 5 was 150 FPS. Again, that was the same case with the graphic test too. On the iPhone 6s, it was 152 FPS and on the uh, Note 5, it was 98 FPS. So in gaming, definitely, uh, I would say uh, the iPhone 6s uh, would have higher frame rates. But again, the Note 5 is also not a slouch. So as you can see, uh, we can conclude that in terms of single core performance, uh, definitely the iPhone 6s went ahead. But in some multi-core tests, the Note 5, cause of its octa-core processor, went ahead. Again, this uh, iPhone 6s is also sort of a beast. In day-to-day -day operations, I feel it is really fast, uh, even in multitasking and stuff like that. And also, the Touch ID is actually way faster on this new iPhone 6s. And I think so, the biggest addition to the new iPhone 6s is this uh, force touch or three touch, what Apple likes to call. I'm just getting used to this and it does offer a lot of functionality and I'll try to post a different video regarding that. Also, I feel the camera is a highlighting point of the new iPhone 6s. Now we have that new 12 megapixel rear facing camera and a five megapixel front facing camera. And even on Android, I feel the Note 5 has one of the best cameras as of now and if you guys are interested i can do a comparison video uh, between the iphone 6s and the note 5's camera so do let me know in the comment section if you would like to see that again thanks for watching this video and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video